I know you're sick of this question, but so Ghost is dead. Whatever has happened to this character Ghost, whether he's dead or still alive. <laughs> he's dead. Right. <laughs> Period. What's up, Power Fans and YouTube? It's your boy Nino, and I'm back with another Power video. First of all, I want to send a quick shout out to Emmanuel Saldana. I hope I got your name right. He sent me a DM on Instagram on this topic to consider, and after watching CK's appearance on Tariq and Braden's show, The Crew Has It, I felt the need to dig in some key part of their conversation, which is obviously centered around ghosts. In this video, I'm going to talk about what CK said on The Crew Has It podcast with regards to ghosts and point out some fishy comments that accompany her statement and break down what she said. And of course, if you are new to my channel, you're welcome. Kindly hit the subscribe button and like this video for more power content. If you have already subscribed, thanks for the support. Now let's get straight into business as usual. So Braden brought up the whole question of if Ghost is really dead so that she can clear the air. He also stated that people don't believe Ghost is dead because there is nobody, it was a closed casket and all that. To which she said, it's not everyone that died that they showed their body. Well, agreed. But if you look at some of the most dominant people like Kanan and Angela, we saw their bodies after they were shot. Ghost and Tommy were with Kanan's body, so without an RIP post from stars, we know Kanan was dead. Now let's look at Angela. Pass was with her body after she was shot and this established that she was dead and gone. I'm going to limit my examples to just these two people. Now if Ghost is dead, apart from the fact that he should have been paid more to pose as dead, I think it was the best closure they could have given the fans on their favorite character. Now let's analyze what CK said with regards to Ghost being dead. She said, and I quote, Here, Here's how I'm going to answer that. Right. Now, for me, this statement alone shows that there is more to what she's going to say. Then she went ahead to say, He's dead. Right. Period. Now, this statement from her is in referral to what we saw at the ending of Power. Then she continued with the fact that, and I quote, And there is more story to tell. Agreed. Now, before I point you to some actions here, let me feed on this statement first, which is, and there is more story to tell. Now, this statement has two sides. One is the fact that there is more story to tell here is in reference to the Power Book 2s, 3, 4, etc. The second side is the fact that there is more story on ghosts yet to be told. Now she went further to then say, That's the issue is like, will that story ever be told? I don't know. So clearly, we can all conclude that she wasn't referring to book 2, 3, or 4 when she said there is more story to be told, but rather, she was referring to the fact that ghost story has not ended, hence her uncertainty if they will be told or not. Now, the reason she doesn't know if the untold story of ghosts will be told or not is because she's now with Netflix. Hence, it's up to stars to tell the untold story of ghosts. Now, if you notice, she kept emphasizing on the fact that he is dead and there is more story to be told. But he is dead. Mm. Agreed. And there's more story to tell. Now, if you ask me, she's answering the question in the most smartest way she can just to avoid people saying, Courtney Kemp said ghost is dead. Because if she wants to be definite with her answer, I don't think there is the need for her to even add a comforting statement that there is more story to be told. I hope I'm making sense. Let me know what you also think in the comment section. Now, I want you to pay attention to Tariq here. When she made the statement that he is dead, period, and there is more story to tell, just look at Tariq's reaction here. It's more like he knew that she has said something close to the truth that he is aware of. When someone makes such an expression, it means that the person is timid or scared of something that might be said that can ruin another thing. Because personally, I don't understand the gesture from Tariq here. Let me know in the comment section what you also think about that. Now, Cunningham went further to talk about the fact that the RIP post was a promotional thing that Stars does and they only repost. So she has no control over that, which is quite understandable. But then again, this complements what CK said about the fact that there is more story to tell. Because if there isn't anything left for Ghost, I think by now there is no need keeping his RIP post because... What might have been the fear initially is no longer a problem now. Because the shows are all doing well now, fans are liking the new powers. So that fear of losing fans if Ghost R.I.P. is dropped, in my opinion, is no longer something stars should keep holding on. Unless, indeed, there is more story to tell on Ghost. Now, I want you to remember that Courtney Kem is a writer, a great one for that matter. She is smart. And if she's going to address something with regards to ghosts, know that she will be very careful with her choice of words. 
And I know very well that before she came on the podcast, she knew very well that this ghost question will pop up. So she mentally prepared herself to address it. But he is dead. Mm, agreed. And there's more story to tell. Now, there is another thing I found weird in one of her statements. So Braden asks if she has gotten to a point where she has to kill a character that she wished not to kill. That was the question. Now, my question is, who was her major character? Ghost followed by Tommy and so forth. If Ghost is the face of power and he has indeed been killed off, at least CK should be able to tell us how she felt killing Ghost, right? Why do I say so? She mentioned that Lobos and Jukebox had to be killed off because she lost them as characters to another show. Then she mentioned that Harley was tough to kill off, Kanan was also tough to kill off, and she went on to talk about the kills that she feels like that was the perfect kill. Now, her perfect kills include Sean, Julio, Dre. These are people she said their deaths were at the right time with no regrets. Now, she totally didn't mention if Ghost was killed at the right time or it was one of the difficult ones like Lobos, Kanan, and Jukebox. This again makes me feel like there is a purpose when it comes to Ghost. Let me know what you think in the comment section about this. I know she didn't mention even Angela, but hey, Ghost was the face of the show. And if indeed she killed him, at least he is not a character she can forget to mention because she went as far as mentioning Harley and even Sean. Now, I want to hear from you guys on this. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Let's discuss this. You can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Innovation if you want to know what I do in my personal life or better still, if you want to DM me. If you like this video, kindly like, share, leave your thoughts in the comment section and hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And as usual, Catch you in my next video. It's your boy Nino. Thanks for watching.